Here's a simple little story. Two weeks ago, just before I closed, I was about to close, and my wife said to me, you know, here's a little unfinished business. A friend of ours owes you some money. You've never asked him for it. You've never written. You've never mentioned it to anyone, but he owes you the money. You're closing up for the entire summer. You will not be here until late fall. I don't think it's fair to him, fair to you, fair to me, that he continues indefinitely without ever mentioning the fact that he owes you the money. I said, all right, you want the money? He said, yes. I said, all right, I will do it in my own way. I will not ask him for it. I will not write him for it. I will not phone him for it. But I will do it in my own way of imagination. So I imagined, first of all, he had the money. You can't get it from someone who has the money. So I first of all assumed he had it. And then I went beyond that. You can have money and be unwilling to pay less, you know. You may have millions and owe the grocery store and still won't pay it. So I first of all saw him with money, lots of money. And then I saw him willing and eager to pay me. And then I received from him whatever he owed me. This I did on Wednesday. On Friday, the phone rang about 4.30. It was my friend. He hasn't called me in over a year. He said, are you busy tonight? I said, yes, I'm lecturing tonight. He said, that's right, it's Friday night. Well, my wife and I will come to the meeting tonight. It's perfectly all right. So he came to the meeting. After the meeting, he said, you ride home with me. And Bill, who's my wife, she'll go home with the one who brought you. And my wife will go with you, with her. So we went over to the parking lot. And he always drove an old jalopy. Something falling apart. But I saw nothing like that in the lot. And he took me over towards this wonderful Chrysler. The New Yorker model. With everything in it that money could buy. But he drove me home. A new car was under a thousand miles. Not a word was said on the way home about money. Not a word was said at home. The one who drove my wife and his wife home left about quarter of eleven. And then five minutes later, she opened her purse and said, Neville, this is long, long overdue. But I think you'll find it in order. And handed me a check for twelve hundred dollars. I never asked for it. Never once in the five years he's owed it to me that I ever breathe it. And he gave me, she gave me, $1,200. This is how it works. If you believe in the reality of your own wonderful imaginal acts, it came out of the nowhere. 